population, every human being came off of the continent of Africa. Did you know that? Take some anthropology and you'll find that out. And they evolved. Now, if you're a spiritual, or the city of Africa, and they look at me, blurry eyed. I said, did you know Africa is a continent with 54 nation states, 125,000 tribes, speaking maybe 115 different languages and very few speak food, clothing, shelter, freedom, peace. These are the issues that have driven the development of other yeah, continents. Christopher Columbus discovered America. At that time, they thought the earth was flat. And as he came across this flat ocean, he ran into a body of land. And he saw Columbus going to India. What was he seeking? Spices and silks and so on. And so he ran into this block of land, and he said Indians, because there were people already there, the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria, and the first state to be a majority of minorities. Hispanics, because Southern California was all Mexico at one time. So you had Hispanics, Asians, Chinese came over to America to build the, yes, the railways. Out, so the human animal could be safer. And you had a right to food. You had a right to clothe yourself. Now, if you believe in the Bible, Adam and Eve was nude, right? Yes. And then someone got a leaf and put it here for the males, you know. And then women started covering their body parts. But originally, you were nude. And you know, to get this across to my elementary school students, I taught in the school in Hollywood. And I was the only person of color on the campus. I had the sixth grade, and these youngsters would go on uh, to the middle school. What color do you get? We get gray. Today's lessons is that black is the presence of all color, and white is the absence of. Recess! <laughs> and then the next lesson would be about dominance and recessive. What is dominance? You can put all the white paint and you still get black. That's the dominant color. Wow. And <clears throat> recessive is you start to lose color. And you get sucked off the ocean. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. <laughs> Your right is to water. So you have to go and you have to find water. We have to educate people. If you keep digging down, you're going, to, you're going to find drinkable water. What I'm getting to, human rights, come from educating. You see, people have to understand. And you know, uh, I was fortunate.